Hi guys, today the baking bug has bit, so I thought I would share with you how I make ensimada. Ensimada is a Filipino brioche and it originates from Spain where there's an ensimada. In the Philippines it's spelled with a Y instead of an I. And the other big difference is whereas in Spain they use lard, uh, Filipino brioche is made with butter, lots of it. And you can make it as simple or as complicated as you like in the Philippines. What you would often find is the ensimada topped with butter and sugar and a little bit of edam cheese, which makes it that awesome sweet and savory combination that I know many of us love. But uh, you can also make it as simple as you like. Today we're going to make a simple ensimada. It's up to you however you want to zhuzh it up. So let's get started. Start by dissolving active dry yeast in warm water with a little bit of sugar. Give it a little stir and let it sit until it bubbles. Next, we heat some milk in a small saucepan. And to that, we add some butter. When the butter is melted, add the sugar and let it cool. Separate the egg yolks, sift the flour, and check on your yeast. Now it's time to mix it all together and form the dough. Place the dough in a greased bowl and let it rise in a warm spot for about an hour. After the dough has doubled in size, punch the dough down and transfer it to a work surface. Divide the dough into four equal portions, then knead each piece and form it into a ball. Roll out each piece, sprinkle with cheese if you like, and roll into a long rope about 15 inches long and tapered at the end. Coil it up into a snail shape and tuck the end under. Place it in a mold. Let it rest a bit and brush with a bit more butter before baking. Once they're out of the oven, it's time to brush with a little more butter. Sprinkle with sugar and some grated cheese if you're using. And enjoy! So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed making ensimada with me. Please give it a try and let me know if you do. You can find this recipe on kitchenconfidant.com and I'll see you next time. Bye.